Waymo has been testing self-driving cars in the Chandler area since 2016. They started there as the Google self-driving car project. The company is preparing to launch a paid ride service that will start in Arizona and then they say spread across the country and possibly globally. They have dozens of these vehicles that are uh, Chrysler Pacifica minivans driving around the area. We wanted to see how well they're actually performing on public roadways. So over three days this fall, we followed them for more than 170 miles through four different cities on and off the freeways. We watched dozens of the cars as they enter and exit the garage there in the Chandler area, looking to see if they're running in autonomous mode or being operated manually. And here's a little bit of what we saw. The cars clearly seem to be capable of detecting potential threats. Watch this car hit the brakes as it enters the intersection. What you don't see there off to the left is a car that ran that light and pulled into the intersection and it appeared that the Waymo detected it and stopped early. Not all the car's actions are that smooth though. This car is approaching an accident. Look at all the human drivers pulling to the left, using their turn signals. They can see the lights from a long ways away, the emergency lights in that intersection. They know they can't go straight through the intersection. They're all merging left cutting into the line, probably looking each other in the eye. The Waymo decides now it's going to cut in the line way ahead of about 50 people. It appears that the driver took over and moved off to the right. Um, so just a really robotic looking decision from the car there. Uh, lane changes appear to be a problem for the cars. They kind of do it agonizingly slow. You saw the left turn signal come on there. It went off. I think that sort of confuses drivers. Then the car pulls up. Uh, we sped it up there. Pulls up right next to this truck, turns on his left turn signal again. This um, does look pretty robotic to me. Waymo would never tell us if these cars were autonomous or if we were watching manual drivers, but this is one instance where it just didn't appear to be a human making these decisions. Again, with the turn signal, he's got clear space, but doesn't feel he can make it over there. We're giving the car plenty of room. It actually took this car almost a minute and a half to to change lanes here. It turned on the indicator multiple times. Now watch, this truck's gonna move into his lane. He gets a little defensive, then decides he does have the lane, goes ahead and makes the lane change. We talked to one person who uses these vehicles around the East Valley. He said that they sometimes miss their turns. They're so hesitant. This one's harder to explain. Watch this little wiggle. Not sure exactly what's going on there, what the car thinks it's seeing or evading. The company's faced a lot of scrutiny over the way its cars make left turns. This is a very difficult left turn right near its garage. It's unprotected, traffic coming from two directions, no turn lane to pull into there. We watched several of the cars, but if you look close, you see the driver's hands on the wheel. We never saw a car take this turn autonomously. The company just tells us that they're getting better at, at doing these type of turns. Waymo drivers are really cautious about people following them. This car led us to a police substation and police stopped us and questioned us because the driver was concerned we might have been harassing them. After they learned we were with the media, they let us go on our way. Hang on! Wait! Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey guys. Hey. Are you guys with these guys? No, we're or, following them. No, we're, we're with, with the Arizona Republic. Oh, okay. For the Arizona Republic. Yeah, they called in on you. Okay. License? Okay. 